I started having chest pain. They had diagnosed me with coronary artery spasms. I became extremely anemic and I started developing migraines. And at that point, uh, my body was just kind of like falling apart. It was to the point where I prayed that if this pain doesn't go away, I just want to die. I mean, that's how intense the pain would be. I had a good friend stop by and visit and she brought me some glyconutrients. I went ahead and decided to start taking it and I was completely within three weeks pain free. No more coronary spasms, haven't had any since, and to this day I haven't had a migraine. Researchers are studying the benefits of this on allergies, asthma, depression, chronic degenerative diseases, and all forms of cancer. I was diagnosed with hairy cell leukemia and pneumonia on top of it. They told me the antibiotics that they have has no effect against my pneumonia and that I will not leave the hospital alive. A lady from East Berlin, Pennsylvania, sent me some information on glyconutrients and I discovered that this is different from anything else. So I had myself released from the hospital and I started on the glyconutritional program big time. Within months, I had my strength back. When I first came home from the hospital, I was hardly able to breathe, you know. I'd, I'd walk a little fast and I'd lose my breath. Now I can get up early in the morning and work all day without taking a nap. I feel younger than I was at age 69 and I'll be 79 in a matter of days. I started to recommend the glyconutrients to patients with long-term chronic illnesses and within a couple of months we started to see results that I've never seen before in my practice. I saw lab work change, I saw symptoms get relieved, I saw areas of degeneration starting to improve. The thing that hits me the most is the effect these have on children. The younger you can get children started on the micronutrients, the better they respond. Luke, our oldest son, was having seizures and along with the seizures he was struggling somewhat with depression. After doing MRI and EEGs, they said that he had epilepsy. Each month, it progressively got more intense and more frequent. We were really considering putting him on a medication. Pretty much at that time, we had gone to a seminar and heard Dr. Reg McDaniel. The next morning, I started Luke taking the glyconutrients. We saw, in a sense, an immediate improvement. And he started becoming the kid that we remember growing up. He's much happier. He's got a light in his eyes and a smile on his face, and he's now been six months without a seizure. At this point, we have over 45 gene defects that there have been reports of major benefits. I, as a physician, am really excited about that, and I think that physicians in general should be fascinated from a scientific standpoint. After seeing so many dramatic results with the people that I've recommended this to, my approach to healthcare has changed fundamentally. When you improve somebody's quality of life, they're living, as opposed to sort of being the living dead. And it's, it's wonderful, it's very rewarding. If you identify what the body needs, and then feed the body a nutrient-dense supplement, it will do what it was meant to do, which is to heal. emergency room and trauma, we're really by far leaders in the world. But when it comes to overall health and degenerative diseases and things like diabetes, cancer, arthritis, hepatitis, we're not handling those problems very well in this country. Does anybody know how we rank in chronic illness and disease according to the World Health Organization, which is like the United Nations of Healthcare? 37th. 37th as a country. We're mostly managing our pain and suffering. There are medications for any of those conditions, but they're not turning the condition around. They're allowing you to live as long as you can without that much pain and suffering. My patients are asking the question, is it possible for me to turn the clock back and go to the point in my life where I wasn't sick? could be five years ago or ten years ago, at that point where their bodies hadn't broken down yet. Well, the science world, not the medical world, is really pointing towards looking very deep in the body at the cellular level. And when you look at that level, 
you start to see that if the person is ever going to change their health, they have to address helping the smallest unit of their body get healthy again. Normal cells perform many functions essential to maintaining good health. They must be able to take in nutrition and eliminate waste or toxins. Normal cells must defend themselves from intruders like unfriendly bacteria, fungi, viruses, and free radicals, and repair the damage done by them. In addition, cells must work together as a team, communicating with other cells to achieve optimal organ and immune system function. Research has already proven our cells need certain essential nutrients, 26 different vitamins, 72 or more trace minerals, numerous fatty acids, and amino acids. Since our bodies don't produce these, we must get them from our diet. Recently, scientists have discovered that there are at least eight sugars, called monosaccharides, that our cells also need for optimal function. Inside cells, these sugars combine with protein strands and form complex structures called glycoforms. The exterior of a healthy cell is covered with a dense forest of these glycoforms. Glycoforms can exchange infinite combinations of information depending on their shape and charge. Glycoforms are present on the surface of all cells and actually prevent viruses, bacteria, and other enemy cells from entering a healthy cell by blocking the entrance to the cell's surface. Glycoforms can hold on to an enemy cell until an immune system cell can arrive to destroy it. Healthy immune system cells can also accurately identify normal cells and not interfere with their function. Cells covered with glycoforms enable clear and accurate cell-to-cell -cell and system-to-system -system communication, creating an information superhighway within the body. Glycoforms play a vital role in every human physiological process. Immune system response, tissue regeneration, cell replication, growth, and structural stability. They are even responsible for the attraction of sperm cells to an egg cell surface to foster fertilization. If a cell does not receive the nutrition it needs, it cannot produce energy, and it really loses its function. Healthy cells don't function optimally without glyconutrients. That's all there is to it. We now know how important these eight sugars are to human health. The problem is, only two, glucose and galactose, are readily available in our modern diets. A fraction of these other six sugars can be gotten through diet, but modern agricultural methods, food processing, widespread use of toxic pesticides and chemical fertilizers have all but eliminated them from our food supply. The body, to an extent, can make glyconutrients. That's the job of the liver. However, that is an emergency mechanism. When we're making our own glyconutrients, it's basically a state of starvation. If you don't have enough of the right type of sugars, you have um, faulty processing. With the faulty processing, things can go wrong. Without vital sugars and a variety of other micronutrients, cells cannot create glycophores. The result is a breakdown in cellular communication and immune system response. Depleted cells are unable to defend themselves effectively, so cell structures can be damaged and are not effective in healing and regenerating. In this weakened state, cells cannot communicate effectively, compromising the body's ability to identify problems. They are also unable to destroy pathogens such as viruses, bacteria, and fungi, and cannot identify mutated cells so the immune system can eliminate them. For example, when a person suffers from an autoimmune disorder, their compromised immune system may respond inappropriately and treat altered normal cells as intruders and destroy them. It may allow mutated cells to proliferate, or the immune system may not respond at all, leaving the body extremely vulnerable to many types of infectious agents. We need to eat the right foods 
to make the right structures to have optimal health. There's a break in the link here because we can't get that food anymore in today's modern diet. Therefore, there's a need to supplement with a type of nutrient called a glyconutrient. We, by doing this, are not treating the patient. All we're doing is returning to the diet what has been lost over the day.